Leave it 851, turn right heading 180. turn right 245, report localised established 27. The outbreak of COVID-19 is taking no prisoners as more and more carriers suspend routes, cut employees and announce major losses inbound. All the while also sharing how bookings are down some 70% for future services. Norwegian is just another airline severely impacted by the outbreak. In fact, the carrier, as we know, had already been struggling of late. If you've been tuned into the channel for over a year now, you may recall just how badly the Trenton 1000 Package B and Package C issues impacted them on the Boeing 787. From groundings to drafting in new aircraft, followed of course now by the 737 MAX groundings that are indeed impacting 18 of their aircraft. Now the airline is said to be laying off 50% of its entire staff to combat the outbreak of the coronavirus, reduce demand and more for a period of time. The layoff is temporary and will likely extend through to May at this point. However, it does come after Norwegian announced that they would in addition be cancelling 4,000 flights and therefore grounding aircraft from its fleet. The airline has indeed announced that although it's cancelled flights, its main plan going forward during these difficult periods is to try and reroute passengers on services through to the US from Gatwick directly. That's because these services will continue following the misinformation coming from the White House during the speech issued by President Trump. Moving across to fleet decisions, 40% of all long-haul fleet with Norwegian will indeed be grounded through to May as well. In addition, 25% of its short-haul fleet will be granted as well for the same period through to May. As per current fleet information, the carrier flies the Boeing 737 and 787 series. With, of course, the MAX, as mentioned, already being parked up, it's not necessarily being affected by these new groundings. Ultimately, concerns are currently surrounding the future of the airline and whether it can actually weather these difficult periods, as really, over recent years, it's seen one blow after another hit it and hurt it where it's vulnerable. It's an unfortunate period for all employees who are obviously incredibly concerned in regards to their jobs. The Norwegian CEO commented on the situation and decision, saying, This is an unprecedented situation, and our main priority continues to be the care and safety of our customers and colleagues. The new restrictions imposed further pressure on an already difficult situation. We urge international governments to act now to ensure that the aviation industry can protect jobs and continue to be a vital part of global economic recovery. While analysts are definitely not always right, they usually are quite knowledgeable. We've seen many already indicate that the situation at Norwegian could potentially reach levels of where it cannot survive, with funds remaining and also acquiring the said funds to survive. The industry, as we know, is incredibly unpredictable. Many wouldn't have seen these mass cancellations occurring some six months ago. Certainly some airlines would not have anticipated this. However, this has occurred. It means Norwegian now needs to carefully analyse their situation, market and more, and make decisions that not only will see it hopefully continue to operate, but more importantly, actually survive in the future. What are your thoughts on the decisions being made over at Norwegian? Do feel free to drop your thoughts either over on Twitter or in the comment section below. Until then, thanks for the support, stay safe, and I'll see you all next time.